So as the days have gone by related to Mark Robinson, I'm starting to really doubt the truthfulness of this CNN story. Because why would it take so long for them to find this number one? He was running four years ago for lieutenant governor. He's been running for governor for over a year. So why now? Of course, they wanted to use it to sabotage his campaign to get people to doubt his candidacy, to turn their back on him, to not vote for him, to smear him, to make him look bad, to make him look like he's unfit. He's too dangerous for North Carolina. You should see some of the ads they're running here in North Carolina. Josh Stein. Well, that video I played at the beginning, that intro was from Bishop Wooden's church in Raleigh. The upper room. And so naturally, with all the stuff that's been going on with Mark Robinson, the media reached out to Bishop Wooden to see what he had to say about it. Here's what the bishop had to say in regards to Mark Robinson. Because I know that you want to hear uh, from your leader. Everybody's talking about Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson. We have members of the press here today. And... Uh, uh, I got a call from WRAL Friday. Um, Destiny Patterson uh, reached out to me uh, for comments on the story. I didn't return that call. And I'm going to tell you why I didn't. <sighs> About three years ago, Lena Tillett, T-I-L-L-E-T, Tillett, that she's one of the major anchors there. She called me and she said to me, she said, uh, Reverend Wooden, I know that sometimes in a service you can get carried away with your amens and carried away with praising the Lord and maybe say amen to some things that you don't mean when you think about later. I said, oh, okay. And we've un unearthed some videotape of uh, Lieutenant Gunn. Governor Mark Robinson at your church. So I want to call. We're doing a story. We want to know uh, if you, you know, have you, you still feel like that? I said, are you asking me, do I still agree with what Mark Robinson said that night? I said, 100%. And, uh, and, and I said to her, I said to her, you did not unearth anything. You didn't find anything. That stuff that was online when he was here, we produced it. We put it out. We sent it out. And I said to it, a good camera work, wasn't it? Good quality. Because it was. First class. See, you, you can be saved and still be first class. Let's praise God for our camera operators. Amen. These young folk, uh, they're doing a great job. They draw no attention. Pay them no attention. When they come in and do what they have to do, they are catering to our larger audience. And our job is to praise God and keep on lifting up Jesus. We don't have anybody who lifts a sign and says applause because we don't have fake church. We have real church. We just learn to just carry on in the name of the Lord. But I told uh, uh, Lena, I said to her at that time, I said the things that Mark Robinson are saying are true because the issue was at that time he was talking about the content of books that were made available to children with pornographic pictures, pornographic literature, pornographic this and that, that fourth graders, kindergarten children could, could get their hands on. And Mark, Lieutenant Governor, spoke out. 
out against it. And the lady told me at the time, she said, no, that is not true. I said, I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll prove to you that it is true. My daughter, Wes Crystal, she's here. Uh, get, tell her to come out. Uh, Crystal, you remember what we, we got together? Give Crystal a big hand. And um, uh, now, now, to be honest with you, she did most of the research. But we did... <laughs> We put videos out showing the books. We read from their books. These were the books that the Lieutenant Governor was talking about at the time. The books had these things in them. She told me that if we could do it, to call her back. And then they would do another interview or we would get together or something. How about this? We called them several times and they would not take my call. Now, you know, if you call a hundred times, that's harassment. So after around the third or fourth time, I said, Crystal, she's not, they're not going to take my call. So when they called me Friday, that's the truth. The media is not interested in telling the truth. The media is interested in telling a narrative. 99% of the media today is run by Marxists, communists, socialists, and liberals. They're leftists. They're in bed with the Democratic Party. They are the propaganda arm of the Democratic Party. You know how I talk about that black triumvirate, right? You got the black pastors, you got the entertainers, the rappers, the musicians, and you got academia, and you got the media. So you got the media down there. The media runs interference for the Democratic Party. They produce a lot of noise so you can't hear the signal because they don't want you to know the truth. They want you to stay in darkness so you can continue to vote for the Democratic Party. They want you to stay ignorant. They want black people in particular to stay ignorant to what's really happening to them. So they're not going to tell you the truth of what's really going on. They will slant. That's why you should not watch any mainstream news channel. Period. None of them. It doesn't matter who they are. They have an agenda. They're biased. They put a little kernel of truth in their story and they wrap their agenda around it to convince you. Manip it's just like Goebbels in Nazi Germany. They want to convince you of a story that's not true so you can believe their lie. I didn't take that. I don't work for them. I don't own them. I don't trust them. I do not. I do not. But I have a little statement that I want to read concerning him. And my statement um, deals with what I know about Mark Robinson. Uh, I called him uh, Friday and spoke to him uh, myself. And um, I said this, this is my statement. I am not aware of the life of Mark Robinson during the years prior to 2020. I never knew he existed. I met him during the Lieutenant Governor's race. He has been an excellent person and an upstanding leader from the time of me, my knowing him. As a pastor, that's the most important thing. Um, and I deal with people as they are today. Now, going back, 12 years, 13 years, all that. Okay. Uh, but I don't I don't know about that. I, I, I don't have anything. I don't know anything about that. I do not know of his life prior to 2020. I cannot speak on him. Uh, I can only speak to him from the time that I've known him. And all I know, I've known about him is that he's been an upstanding man, a tremendous leader, and he's been a fighter. He's fighting for our children. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of shocked that some who are coming after him find some of the things that are alleged to have come from him. And I don't know of any black man who would want to be a black Nazi. So I don't believe no brother said that because if you look, if you're any kind of Nazi other than a Nazi Nazi, a 
a German, white German Nazi, you're a dead Nazi. Nazi don't want black folk. You can go up there if you want to and try that. <laughs> you're not one of them. Amen. And so, uh, but I'm amazed at some of the things that I've read that, that the people are getting all bent out of shape about because they want that same stuff in books so children can see. That's the whole point. That's how hypocritical they are. The same stuff they're accusing Mark Robinson of enjoying or taking advantage of is the same stuff and worse that they put in all these books for our children to consume, for our children to read. They're making these videos teaching children about different things when it comes to human sexuality. How sick is that? How sick is that? Here's another public service announcement. Get your children out of public school. Put them in homeschool or a private Christian school is a real Christian school. Until we can reform this public school, get them out of there. Because all they're doing is perverting your children and converting them into a lifestyle that doesn't lead to reproduction. Converting them to a lifestyle that leads to their destruction. The point is the fight. He's fighting to keep these things from children. Now, whether this stuff that they've un unearthed is, is him or not, he told me that, he said, I, that those are not the words of my prophets. And I believe him. I believe him more than I believe this media. Amen. I'll tell you that. Same media told you if you get that shot, you wouldn't get COVID. How that work out for you? <laughs> <laughs> I think Mark is an awesome leader, and the, the agenda that he has makes sense. And I pray uh, that God will watch over him. And uh, I will say this: most people. Don't live their lives thinking that they're going to be into politics. Now, people who set out early to be into politics live like they're going to be a politician. They dot every I, cross every T, loop every L because uh, they planned on, on running for office. Regular folk don't live like that. Regular folk get on drugs at times. They do crazy things. They get into all kinds of problems. People get married. People get divorced. Things happen. And then after all that, you may find yourself running. And uh, we're in a day now where uh, they will go back and dig up stuff. Um, so I'm praying for him. I will not join the chorus of people who are quick to dump on him. If he's guilty of this, then then that will be dealt with. But uh, uh, God's way. But and and you know you have to admit I'm consistent because there have been pastors, there have been leaders, there have been others who have had issues to come up, and Brother Wooden have stood by them. Amen. Stood by them. Prayed for them. Amen. So uh, I'm standing by this man. I'm praying for him. And I pray that God gives him strength. Um, and that's that's all I have to say uh, about that. If those things are true and he has not repented of them, then God will deal with him on those things. But if those things are true and he did repent of those things, then he's already been washed clean in the eyes of God. I don't know if those things are true or not, but I do know that the media is deceptive. I do know that the media is a propaganda factory for the Democratic Party. I do know the media hates black men that stand up on the word of God. The media hates black men that don't compromise and bend a knee and bend over to take it 
for the culture. They hate black men that stand firm on biblical values, biblical principles. They hate, they hate outspoken black men more than they do Donald Trump. I'll say that again. They hate outspoken black Christian men more than they do Donald Trump. And here's the reason why. Because outspoken, bold, Christian black men that love their families, take care of their children, provide for their family, are at home with their family, do not have any scandals that are upstanding, full of integrity, full of life, full of principle, full of health, full of joy, full of peace, stand firm, and are showing a different way forward in the community. They hate those black men because they go against their narrative of painting the black community as victims. And we need more strong black Christian men to stand up because we're not victims. We are empowered for greatness.